is the sunroom in our house, and this is the text my wife sent me of what she wants it to look like, or at least some inspiration or something. So I told her in one week I promise I will have it done so we could put our new infrared sauna up. Happy wife equals happy life, so it's time to put in some serious work because a week is not that much time and this Spanish tile was kicking my butt. I started with a sledgehammer and said that wasn't not gonna do it, so I went to Home Depot and got this demo hammer. I knew this would go a lot quicker with the little paddle blade and I just went ahead and chipped away. Now whenever you estimate a timeline for a project, it usually is wrong. You almost always should add some time and I said a week but I knew once I got started this might take a little bit more time but I was going to do everything I could to get it done in a week because like I said I promised and that means I'm going to be working late nights if that's what it takes to get this job done in time. Now I don't know where the saying expect the unexpected comes from but that is basically every DIY project because sure enough all of the walls had mold and all the insulation was bad too so I had to tear out all of the walls under the windows remove the drywall, remove the insulation, and then HEPAVAC the whole room because now mold was exposed to everything. Fortunately, I'm basically a master mold remediator after the recent projects, but I went ahead and did that, replaced the drywall, mudded it, and replaced the insulation. We're good, it's done, time to get back to the project. Now everything you've seen so far was done within the first 48 hours because I only had this tool for 48 hours, so I had to go back in and remove all of the mortar on the floor and make it as smooth as possible to prepare for a flat surface for the tile. I measured and found the exact center point in the room because I wanted it to be as symmetrical as possible. This is very important when you're doing a pattern, especially a diamond pattern like this with a checkered tile. This was my first time doing a pattern like this and honestly it was more complicated than normal but not too bad and it was really fun. Now this was the 4th of July holiday and it got really busy over the next few days. We had tons of meetings and commitments. so. I didn't have as much time to work on the tile, but I chipped away at nights as much as I could, and here we are, about a week in. I'm a little bit behind, but I'm going to get it done.